Hey everybody, Jeremy here, and today I want to tell you about a couple new kitchen appliances that was just announced on February 1st by Ninja. I'm going to show you what those products are, as well as one additional thing that is not a kitchen accessory, but you may still find it to be kind of useful. All right, I'm going to get into some of the details, but first, let's take a look at a video that Ninja put together that introduces these three new products. So let's talk about what we just saw here, starting with the new Ninja Double Stack XL2 Basket Air Fryer. Looks a little something like this. So Ninja says this is the industry's first vertical double stacked air fryer. And when it's released, it's going to sell at an MSRP of $229.99. And by the way, if you are interested in double stacked air fryers or double air fryers, I actually reviewed one recently from a company called Medea. I'll leave a link in a card so that you can check that out. It has an air frying basket on the top and on the bottom, there is a toaster oven. So, and it's also smart. So if you're interested in that, you can check out that video after this one. Okay, so details about what Ninja's coming out with is a little bit scarce at the moment, but here is some that they have put out. Now, they say that this um, air fryer is going to consume 40% less footprint than a single basket air fryer because it's more tall than it is wide. Some of the features includes six functions that are going to be air fry, max crisp, roast, bake, reheat, and dehydrate. They're also going to retain the syncing feature where you can cook two different things two different ways and sync them up to complete at the same time. And the capacity of the entire thing is going to be 10 quarts. So five quarts for each basket and it can cook, according to Ninja, two five pounds chickens at the same time so more details on that will be coming up now the second thing that we saw here is a cooler from Ninja which sounds pretty interesting and it is going to be called the Ninja Frost Vault Cooler and it's going to sell in two different versions there's going to be a 30 quart version for $199.99 so $200 and then a 50 quart version for $249.99, so $250. And here's a still picture of what that looks like. Now, this is something that can be used both indoors and outdoors. And here are some details about the Frost Vault Cooler. So they say that it redefines the market by offering premium ice retention for up to six days and fridge temp dry storage. So you won't have to mix your, your, your ice and your dry stuff together. It says with Frost Vault technology, cold air transfers into the dry zone where high-tech insulation keeps food cool, dry, and separate at food safe temperatures under 40 degrees for six days. So the 50 quart capacity can fit up to 80 cans and the 30 quart capacity can fit up to 48 cans. Highly durable construction with up to three inches of insulation and molded handles for easy transport. It's got a premium latch that allows you to easily open and close the cooler one handed. Safer for all. Keep meat separate from main compartment for zero cross contamination. That's actually very important. The separation is also helpful in other areas such as keeping caught fish separate from the day's snacks or keeping food separate from others for a child with food sensitivities. All right, pretty good. And then hassle free place items from the fridge straight into the frost vault drawer and head to the beach, the park or tailgate. No need to transfer food to secondary containers to protect them from getting wet and soggy. The innovative drawer also allows consumers to use the top of the cooler as a portable table without having to clear items on top to get another beverage or snack. All right, so that sounds pretty useful, especially as we head into warmer months in the spring and the summer in two different capacities. Now, the last thing is this fan here. And although it's not a kitchen accessory, I think it may be able to go hand in hand with the Frost Vault cooler when you're doing things outdoors. Now, this fan is called the Shark Flex Breeze because it's Shark Ninja, same company. So this is on the Shark line of things. 
things, but it's designed to help consumers bring cooling comfort whenever and whenever they need it. So it's got multifunctional use. It's a two-in-one cooling fan that transforms from a pedestal to a tabletop fan at the touch of a button. It also has five fan speeds, 180 degrees of side-to-side -side oscillation. It can tilt 55 degrees up and down, and the settings can be adjusted with a remote control. It's got a breeze boost mode where you'll be able to feel the breeze from over 70 feet away, the same distance as a full length tennis court. That's an interesting comparison. It has 20 hours of battery run time on a single battery charge, so you don't have to plug this in. It runs off a of battery. It's perfect when you're doing stuff outdoors. You're not around power, but this is the results that you get when the fan is on low speed. You use a higher speed, you get less battery life, and when the battery runs out, you can still plug it in and continue to use it as it's charging at the same time. How much of a temperature can it reduce by? Well, it says that it can reduce the temperature in outdoor spaces by up to 10% when the misting feature is engaged. So, you know, give you a little bit of water on you. Like when you go to the zoo and they have those huge fans around when it's hot outside and you just want to stand in front of them and just feel that mist. It is so refreshing. This can do the same thing, albeit, you know, just not as big. And it's also durable and lightweight, enhances every space with this sleek design and durable UV and rain resistant exterior, and it only weighs 13 pounds. And here is another look at the fan. Um, it's not a very eye catching fan. It looks like a pretty standard, you know, fan, but you know, it's the, the things that it can do and the tech within that makes it an intriguing solution for when you're outdoors doing stuff. So there you go. Those are the three products that Ninja announced announced on February 1st. There are no release dates for these products that I've been able to find just yet, and you also cannot pre-order them at the recording time of this video. All this information was just provided um, on Shark Ninja's blog and their press release, so that's where I got all this information from. But let me know down in the comments what you think about these products. Do any of these look intriguing to you? How are the prices? Do they seem fairly priced to you? And if you're interested in picking any of these up, um, I do think that the cooler is a pretty interesting thing. Um, I've grown up just dealing with, you know, just regular coolers. You put ice in it and then you separate everything with like freezer bags. But this seems to take away from that to make things a little bit more um, easier to do, if you will, without having to have extra accessories and stuff like that. Um, so I'll be really curious to see how that turns out. And I'm also interested in how decent that fan can be. Can it really cool you off more than just putting some water in your face and standing in front of a fan? I don't know. Time will tell. But we will see how these products turn out when they are released. So thank you all so much for watching. And if you want to see more videos just like this, uh, be sure to subscribe so you'll be notified when they are available. And also, if you are interested in the channel membership that includes additional exclusive videos, including different recipes and different chit chats and talks and behind the scenes stuff, you can also join up for the membership as well. That's it, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Until next time, take care of yourselves. I'll speak to you soon.